Hello everybody and welcome back to Mud Runner. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are going to get into the logging section. So without further ado, let's get this party started. All right, so what do we got on the map as far as logs? We have short logs, short logs. I see two shorts. Surely there's more than two shorts. I don't know how much do we need. Well, we need 16, or at least we did on the solo. Yeah, still need 16. Short, I kind of used the, uh... That's Maybe other pitch. logs will spawn in as we go. So, for now, I guess I'll just start with the short. We'll go with the, um... Do you want to go and unlock the garage? Uh, we can. Well. How many points you got in that? Four. Four? Okay, so I'll need the same. Do, 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 do. What's the light, the light button? What is it? Ah, the left bumper. The light. Oh, there you go. You have to put the uh, trailer hitch on and then you put the trailer on. Okay, trailer hitch. The log cart hitch? Oh, no, I'm using the utility trailer for the garage points. Okay, trailer hitch and then utility trailer. I got you. I was like, trying to figure it out. I was like, I do not see. Okay. All right. You're good when you are. This is such a behemoth. Yeah, it's actually almost easier to drive these in first person. It's bigger than the road. <laughs> yeah, there will be some weird, like, hills that you literally can't see anything, and you just kind of pray that you're going the right direction. Because our, our driver is, like, four foot three. So, you can't actually see over the nose of the, the truck. But these are much easier to manage on the highways than the Hummer and the, uh... Yeah, they're motion. not as squirrely. But by God, do not catch a K-Rail with one of these. <laughs> Bad things happen with this much weight moving. Almost sounds like you did that from experience. No. Uh -uh. No experience <laughs> at all. Shut that one almost a little wide. Eek! A bit of a brake check. <laughs> I, I kind of went wide. Are you using first person? Because it is actually easier when you're on the main roads. Like when you're in the woods, definitely first person is not, not preferable. Oh. But uh, on the main Wanted. roads. Yeah, I'm going to pull in and get some fuel. Slow down. Don't hit the pump. I've seen what happens in GTA. All right, I am refueled. Fair warning, you may want to use four-wheel four -wheel drive when you're going through that mud. Yeah, Western Star's where it's at, man. <laughs> This thing is absolutely beasty in the mud. This is what I had to use to pull out my uh, my bison when I got my bison stuck. 
And then if you get this thing stuck, you can use the skid steer to pull it up. <laughs> but I, I, I may have may not have had to do that. It's very hard to get this thing stuck. A series of, a series of unfortunate events is what that was. <laughs> well, it could be. Yeah, at first when I got the bl or the bison stuck, I tried to use the blazer to pull it out. Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't quite work. Blazer barely works with the Hummer. Right. Do, do, do. He's bound down, loaded up and trucking. We don't do what they say can't be done. But we got a long way to go and a short time to do. He's bound, just watch old Bandit run. Technically, we're southwest bound. <laughs> southwest bound. Oh. <laughs> Wait for you to clear the bridge so that we don't both go on the bridge at the same time, fully loaded. <laughs> Just, I don't want to find out whether or not they have bridge physics or not. Oh, this one's chugging up that turn. <laughs> and then we're wide. And the best part is when we're up here, you'll be able to throw the cistern on yours. I'll throw the short log carrier on mine with a crane, and then go get your skitter, fuel it up, and then I can do the other part. Has the garage not refueled us? Uh, no, the garage fixes it and allows you to swap equipment. And then you have to go to the fuel stations to actually fuel. Uh, your fuel cistern will start out uh, empty, but you'll have like half a tank mm. or whatever. In the, well, you'll have more than that. You'll have whatever you have. And then you go to the fuel station. You can fill up the cistern and your truck. All right. So we want to go log carriage with crane because we're going to be picking up short logs. Okay. So we got to get all the way. I'm going to go back the long way towards the skitter. You're not going to go to the fuel station to pick up fuel? Is that the only one? Shit. I have to go to the fuel <laughs> station then. And I'll just go. I'm still going to go in on the main road to get to the, to the uh, skid steer. Because I have the fuel trailer with me. Oh, you're taking the whole trailer. I thought you were just going to throw on the little tanker on the back of the truck. Crazy. <laughs> I don't think we'll need that much fuel. If, if we need that much fuel, somebody has royally fucked up. <laughs> Might as well use the truck for what it's meant for, right? <laughs> I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna head down the same way you're going. What's wrong? The trailer a bit rough? Turn in the corner with? <laughs> it does not like to turn. <laughs> Wait till you get it loaded. think you were sliding a little bit before. Wait till the truck pushes you straight into the side of a freaking cliff. You'll be like, ah, just slow down a little. Slow, slow down, slow down! <laughs> Parking brake. Plus, all that, all that liquid in there sloshing around doesn't help. That's why I go with the small tank. Of course, a fuel tanker would have baffles in it to keep that from happening. But this game doesn't include that because it's more of the challenge. And I've got plenty of fuel, but I'll stop and fuel up again just because... Oh, God. I just took some damage. 
ran into a couple fence posts. Let's see, I ran into the bridge. Well, morning's coming, so that's good. It'll be easier for you to go through the swamp as long as you can get the uh, skitter and get through the swamp to start getting your logs quickly. But if you haven't used the skitter yet, I feel like you're gonna have a, a fun time learning. <laughs> It's it's a fun one. Hey, I finally I finally broke that sign you couldn't break. <laughs> yeah, you can do it in a bigger truck, but apparently my blazer just didn't have enough momentum to do it. I was just to see you barreling through. <laughs> yeah, I I almost ran into the back of you. Uh, you're not taking. Oh, okay, you're at the fuel station. I was like, wait, you're not taking that off-road, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm. I know you're in a western star, too, ain't you? So you'd probably be fine. Yeah. It does take a lot longer. Got a full tank. Yep, I'm fueled. I'll let you pull out first. You want me to make the first run? Yeah, go ahead. Go oh, you pull out first, you're faster. Well, the reason I, I want you to go first, because I'm going to be stopping at the pull-off where the entrance to the swamp is. You're going to be going past it. Oh, yeah. So it just makes sense that you go. you got to love the physics of this game, though. This game is fucking awesome. It's tedious as hell when you're actually doing this by yourself. But with a person with you, it's, it's so much fun. You have someone else doing half the work you need to be doing. Like other than like, if we were just well, not just, just that, play, just not being bored out of your mind, like concentrating on every little thing, and you're not the only one fucking up, right? so you have some entertainment too. It's great. You got to get to laugh. Um, I mean, if we were doing this right, you, one of us would have went to the waypoint, the other would have drive to the garage, right, and make that first run. But I, I thought it would be pretty we cool to right. have both of us in the uh, little trucks to begin with, and and do that off-roading adventure. And then we get to work. And so I'm going to go ahead and park here. Uh, actually, I'll probably turn around. I mean, you can park that and go switch to the, like, the Jeep and go get the skitter and meet me at the... Oh, no, I know, I'm going to drive to the skitter anyway. I was going to say, I, I, I know you want to drive the skitter, so I just figured you'd, you'd enjoy it. And once you're in the skitter, you just go straight across the swamp, uh, grab some short logs. Try to yeah. grab all four of them with one scoop. Because it'll save you trips. Yeah, go there. Yeah. And that's leave the fuel truck right there next to the skitter. Right. All right, so I'll go ahead and stop the I, engine. Then you can take the, or at least leave the trailer, and you can take the smaller truck and use it for fuel. Or my truck can use it for fuel afterwards. And I can switch it out to the the. So you're going overaxle, for the skitter. And you're doing pretty good timing there. Like I said, we've got four short, short. Unless you want to go get a truck and make your own fuel tank. While well, I'm going to run for the skitter. We've got 16 there. Well, what I was thinking is setting up another one for short for you. So you could load one while I'm running the other, and then I switch to the other. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that works. And maybe one, maybe one fuel truck for you. So that's a bison. Where was that freight liner? There it is. Because if you have a fuel truck, I can leave this big one over here, All right, and we just keep so running, and running. Where am I located? I need to go across the bridge, turn left. But yeah, if I get this thing mounted with a crane attachment to it, then, uh, like I said, you can bring the other logs and load this, and then... I, I did that. The, uh, you can use the crane attachment to get the barricades. You put the logs on the other put side. Put the logs the on the other drive side, through drive through. And <laughs> that's cheating, though. <laughs> God, this road truck's already almost stuck just trying to get onto the highway. There we go. How 
Oh, that's a skitter. Oh. I'll be honest, I didn't check the fuel on this, so, uh... Probably, yikes, I about crashed. Forgot there was a barrier that had to wait to, to open. Okay, so I have to be in the main truck. Yeah, you have to be inside your uh, tanker to uh, fuel up. gonna lie it looks so good being inside the uh, freightliner other than like the general cockpit like standard texture just looks like ass <laughs> but, but other than that like just looking out over the nose of the truck and driving okay so how do you have to go you can't go that way you have to go all the way around dear god okay so I'm assuming you're gonna be at the crossroad between where you, where you filled up and when I when I turned. Um, you know, the you should be able to see it on the main road there. Uh, you're oh, going down into, into the, the swamp. swamp. Oh, yeah, see where the main road goes through the swamp. I'm literally parked at the other end of it, with the Western Star, and then I'm getting the Freightliner there now. There. And the Freightliner or the Western Star is the big log. Huh. The Western Star is the big log? No, it's for short logs only. Because I didn't see any yeah. big logs on the map, so all I saw was short logs. So hopefully once we deliver some logs, we'll get some other logs pop up on the map. Because I only see uh, two different ones that have four short logs on them at the moment. There, I see one with medium logs. Oh, do you? Where is it? Yeah. It's, uh, one's across from the short log. Yeah, see, they show all empty for me. So it looks like I've got some on my screen and you've got some on your screen. But I've got one truck so set up for media, or one one truck set up for the short logs, which is the guy that you should be loading now, and then I'll set this one up for yeah. mediums. And then when I get all my logs, we just switch out. How many logs can this thing pick up? Pick the log carriage off. Do you know Spartan? Uh, it sh you should be able to get all four of them in one trip, or one, one grab. I was able to get all four of them earlier. You just gotta get a nice, like, you gotta get it nice and squared, and then push down onto them, and then clamp, and then raise up. And you should be able to grab all, all four of them. So we've got a medium log trailer, but I need a, uh... I'm stuck on a rock. I'm trying to figure this one out. That's log with crane. And then I can put the medium log trailer on the back of that. So I can get medium and short logs on this trip. In theory. <laughs> I get stuck on a rock. And like I just wouldn't go back forwards backwards enough to get it off until I just power it or get through. Nice. Yeah, that thing can literally go just about anywhere. But there's a couple spots in the swamp that are a little deep, so you gotta be careful there. But other than that, just watch out for big trees.
correct. Go ahead and stop the engine, set the parking brake, change truck, and get this one. I actually got all four of them on the first try. Nice. Oh, God damn it. Uh-oh. This is like all of them. Turn the anchors, get the crane ready. Now we just wait. Sh uh, flying swive shall be here shortly. Hopefully. <laughs> Work on that one. Where are you? Oh, okay, I see you. You literally did center of the swamp. Kind of missed the main road there, didn't you? Oh, you just now got the logs, didn't you? Never mind. Yeah, one of them got stuck. I'm trying to get it unstuck. Gotcha. Wait, I've got a skitter too? Yeah, it's a bus driver. Nice. Well, that'll make it easy. And you already filled this one up, or at least it has quite a bit of fuel, so it should be good there. see you and I need to go ahead and to my left oh I see oh, I see the okay so I see two long logs oh, you see long logs too yeah can't do anything with long logs at this time I see you driving <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go grab these short logs easiest way that I found is when they fall down is to just try to uh, square yourself up as best you can. I, I had it right the first time, but for whatever reason, like, I think I hit Y by accident, not realizing. And, and accidentally they dropped them. <laughs> and then one got, yeah, then one got out of the ring, so, like, I had to, like, squeeze it into the rest of the pack. <clears throat> Have you used your blade to, like, push on stuff yet? Does it do anything on the road, or is it just... What, the blade? Like, it, it doesn't do yeah. anything as far as mud, you just get stuck. Uh, but, like, to move stuff, like if you drop logs and you want to get them back together, you can scrape and uh, push your logs back. Yeah, that's good to know. Alright, put that on, go to crane. You want to uh, rotate. Alright, I brought some logs. I don't think I can do anything until you're in the vehicle itself. Uh, you They're just need to drop them next to it. And then you can either yeah. jump in the vehicle and go. Uh, try to I don't load. know if I can get into your vehicles. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, well then I'll, yeah, I will be there shortly. Yeah, it's your vehicles. Yeah, so I'll, I'll carry these logs over here. Okay. <laughs> and I will be right there. I just grabbed my four logs. I'm on my way. I wonder if you can grab the logs out of my crane and like, hold them as I drop them. Let's go and stop truck. So yeah, we need to go. We should have made a repair truck. Mine's actually fairly damaged. I've got 161 hours. Yeah. It's not too bad. Alright, so we just follow the main road here and I should be there in no time. I want the modern version of this where we can do like off road tracks with smaller vehicles. Yeah, that, that would be fun. Like, you can bring in, like, my truck, um, being a WRX, and make a smoother road. 
horror monster trucks and there's all kinds of stuff on the modern yeah. PC Once version. Yeah. Old Steam. Guys that have like the that have the uh like the test track to see the limits of every vehicle, how high it can go, what bumps it can take. It, the vertical climb challenge to see how high you can get up to 45. Oops, that's a tree. I, this has went surprisingly well for me, this trip, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I literally drove right up to it, squared up, grabbed the four logs, and took off. <laughs> First time See, I tried this, it literally it right. took me like 40 minutes to figure out how to get the, the logs in the truck. So. I spent about five minutes just trying to get it, them all back in the line so I can grab them all at once. All right, so we want to change truck to the Western Star. And then... Do you see my logs if I drop them? That's a good question. Um, I see you and I see logs. But they're not actual logs, it doesn't look like. They're like yellow okay, highlighted stuff, so I might not be able to grab your stuff. That's interesting. So you're going to actually have to do your own, huh? Maybe. Can you, Let's see if I drop them. Do you see them now? No, they're just yellow highlighted things on the ground. Um, okay, so I do need to actually get my own truck. So I guess in that since I need to get back in my skitter and now I'm in your way <laughs> oh well uh, I will make it work we'll make it happen that's gonna go make a lock truck over here and drop these logs next to my crane uh, I could just go back to the other side with my, with my western is there any other trucks that can actually handle off-road the Western well, Star is pretty anymore. much the only one that's good at it off-road, anyway. I have a Western Star I can use. And go ahead and drop these here. Stop the engine. That's the fastest way through. Change truck. Outside. Crane. Why is this one so damaged? Well, I got a Western Star with a crane, the small log crane already. Look at your, I don't visually see your trucks until you're in them, so I think I can just drive through them if I need to. Well, can you use my fuel truck? Or I might just I can just hop in it when you need it. I'll be honest, it's really difficult to like see where I'm supposed to pick up now. Like the the angle that I'm, I'm looking at. Get a I might just switch this to a crane truck and use it like that. Now I can see. I can see. Open that. I can fight. <laughs> and then drop it down. Pick it up. Beautiful. Rotate over. I need to. All right, I'm gonna have my small log truck come in. Oh God. I have made mistakes in my life. As long as you don't flip or fall. No, well, nothing quite like that. I just dropped the log from way up above my truck and it landed all cro crooked as hell. And... It takes a little bit of finesse to get used to the crane, I'm not going to lie. There yeah, we go. One it's not really like an up or down movement that's the problem. It just goes out. And everything's inverted. <laughs> it's just... 
freaking messes with me. Ooh, I wonder if I can grab all of the, uh, at least those two with one. Give her a shot. Nope, that was a fail. Did I grab that? <laughs> I'll take it. Never look a gift horse in the mouth, I say. Ah! Why would you pick up and let go there? Dude, I just flung that freaking thing. <laughs> Was this carry? I can carry three short logs and four points of medium logs. I got a big kahuna. This is a family channel, sir. Just kidding. I, I got the uh, short log with the loader and the long log trailer, or medium log trailer. go grab the uh, fuel truck and just like park it right inside there because I probably can sneak around it if it's just using one of your trucks at a time. Alright, two have been loaded. I may need to make a stop at the uh, <laughs> repair station. <gasps> Got it! I'm a master! I'm a master of the crane! Got both of them with that, that grip. I just need to get them into the truck. Lower them. Party fall! Woohoo! Restore the crane. Uh, can you have more meat small logs? Oh, you can't even grab mine anyway. No, I, I can't grab yours. Um, we need to... Oh, well, my logs fell out. That's disappointing. Pack them up. I've got my first truckload ready to go. Go ahead and pull this one up. And then change to the skitter. We'll get some more short logs. Nice wife. Why is that the most entertaining thing to do? Because it's big equipment and it's supposed to be. Alright, so where's my next set of logs that I need to grab? All the way down and to the right. Damn it. See them. I think I'm just gonna drive straight through them because I'm crazy. And what are, what's the worst that could happen? Can't be like this swamp is that deep, right? No, not at all, right?
Hoga! That's a lot deeper than it looks. But we're fine, because big truck, big tractor, it's fine. Yeah, that was really deep right there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, square up to her. Oh, reverse. about right. Train. We want to rotate. And set down. And grab. Pick up. Oh my god, I'm getting good at this. Yes, I am amazed at myself. Take the parking brake off. Go straight back where we came. Even though I know this is really deep, we'll be fine. Of course, we are slight. Hey, I got some logs available. It just popped up. Also, like how the rainbow, like you get oil off of your engine in the water. So you get like a rainbow trail. There's a lot of detail in this game in case you haven't noticed. So the big crane's a lot harder to use. <laughs> yeah, the big crane is a giant pain in the neck until you get the hang of it. Like, it really is. I also forgot to cut it when we finished with our little vehicles. So this is going to be one giant episode. So uh, if people are still watching, thank you. <laughs> we Listen to our stupidity you. about trying to learn how to use cranes. <laughs> it's it's a challenge for sure. Uh, also, it's starting to become nighttime, so lights are a good thing. I just touched a truck or touched a tree. How to make a few? Kind of hoping that those logs that just popped up for me are going to end up being uh, medium logs. Nope, oh, long logs. That's not preferable. Well. Oopsie. So I've got the wrong, <laughs> wrong trailer attachment to my other truck. Can you see my, like, can you try to push my logs towards me? <laughs> Uh, I can try to see if I can interact with them. Just give me a second to turn this beast around so I can use the blade. I'm making fireworks out of my truck. Uh, that means you've broken it. <laughs> I know. Alright, so, oops, not the winch. We need the push blade. Drop the push blade down. That's too far. And give her a shot. I'm stuck on other trees. You happen to have dropped these in, like, a terrible position. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they just disappeared. Wait, you could actually see them while I was in my truck? No, like, the, the logs... Oh, yeah, those... Those logs... I can see the, like, yellow... Or the highlighted spot. Oh, too far... Back it up and I'll see, tell you if you're on it. Might not lift up your winch. Oh, I accidentally put the parking brake on. Alright, 
this uh, push blade down. Inch. Inch forward. Huh? I'll tell you when you, you just drop it as far as you can. Uh, inch forward, I'll tell you when to stop. Stop. Oop, too far. Yeah, you kind of made him disappear again. Give me a second. I'm just going to push him closer to the truck. Come on, back up. Screw it. I'll get out of your way. I don't think I can interact with yours. Plus, those trees are in the way. Whoops. Wrong way. Let's back up. Wrong way. There you go. I forget which way is forward and reverse sometimes. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell in this truck. For a vehicle. Well, that's right where I need to be. I don't know if that actually helps you see or not. I just turned on my lights. There you go. They moved quite a bit that time. It's hilarious. Your truck doesn't look like oh, a truck. It just looks me. like a shadow of a truck. <laughs> and then I see like a shadow of a trailer back there. There it is. My immersion is broken. Cool, got them both. Nice grab. Yeah, it's closer, let's go up. So you got yours. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in position. <laughs> God damn it, come on. Turn. Thank you. One. Beautiful. So when I switch out of this truck, do you still see it? No. I, I see a shadow. That's all I see. It's pardon? Oh, sorry. I, I was talking, but you couldn't hear me because I had myself muted because I'm a dingus. <laughs> so you don't see my truck anymore, right? No, it, it disappears. It. it turns into a shadow. Cool. So that means you can go load your truck and I just leave mine there. <laughs> right. Which is what Although, I'm about to do. Admittedly, I should go get a repair truck and a field, repair fuel truck just because of... Uh, yeah, if you can do both, that would be I'm great. Because <laughs> probably use it a little bit myself. Yeah. Not on the truck so much, but... Uh, There's another Freightliner. Okay, I'll try to do. Not this. I love how I'm literally parked inside you. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to... I'm see if I can grab a fuel truck with, or repair with this. And jump in the, the crane. So I do have four logs ready to go. Can I grab all four of them Not with one self. shot? The normal truck really, really can't go off-road. <laughs> Even a little bit of mud. I'm on my way. I'm going to get the uh, repair and fuel truck. 
grab them all. Yes! Wait, I'm, I'm a doing? king! <laughs> I am a king! I'm a dingus. West Wind Star. Come here. <laughs> Alright. Now don't fuck this up. Oh my god, I cannot have just done that that easily. Easily. I knew it was too good to be true. So I wonder if I can do a repair trailer or something and a fuel tank on this thing. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen, I haven't tried to see like what the possibilities are. So I know some of the trucks in the main game, you can actually use them for both. I got one log being stubborn, not registering that it's mm -hmm. in the truck. There we go. Now we can restore and then go to advance, attach winch, pack. All right, I'm good. I will take the uh, two trucks of mine. Yeah, I, I gotta go grab some medium logs for my trailer. And I'm going to bring up a repair and fuel. It's a shame that I can't, like, use your logs, because I put the medium log uh, hauler on my truck, specifically because you said you had medium logs, and then we're like, oh yeah, that's the thing, we can't actually help each other, even though this is a co-op multiplayer session. Why would you want to help each other? It's insane. But, uh, yeah, won't be too bad. Only issue that I'm going to have is taking this thing to the actual lumber mill. <gasps> oh no! Oops. It's fine. Everything is fine. Don't worry. Nothing happened. It's good. How much damage did you take? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. No damage. Why would I have damage? You're, you're anticipating something went horribly wrong, in which case you're wrong. Nothing ever... No. Mm -mm. Nope. Nothing happened. It's fine. Somewhere along the line up here is a uh, freight liner that's laid over. But nothing went wrong, it's fine. Oh god, that's horrendous looking. I really dumb, I can't remember how you actually attach a trailer to a truck. all my lo oh no wait that's the stupid trailer never mind it can stay release
lost all my logs. Damn it. How'd you do that? Nothing happened. I don't, I don't know which. Uh, I don't know anything. I keep feeling I like remember. you're, you're you assuming things that aren't necessarily true. Like, you're assuming you that I may have accidentally uh, rolled <laughs> my truck over the side of a hill. But it, you know, nothing like that would happen. It's fine. Smart, you had one job. <laughs> Technically, I had more than one job. I had to load my own logs. I had to go get the logs. <laughs> I had to drive the logs to the place. I had a lot of a lot Excuses. of jobs, but I only fucked up one of them, and it was the one that's the easiest. <laughs> All right, but the it's driving fine. part of it. It's fine. Uh, change truck. Uh, I'm outside of the range, so I need. How to do I get the trailer to actually attach properly? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Um, there's a fuel tanker I, that just got disconnected from my truck, and I can't remember how to get to it. Oh, properly. you gotta use the advance attach winch, winch it up all the way, and then you can you can connect it that way. But it also sounds like you may have accidentally oopsied. Uh, may or may not have hit a corner too hard. De detach that trailer. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. <laughs> The only problem is now I don't remember to, to actually put it back together. <laughs> <gasps> don't flip me back, you son of a bitch! AI, why would you do that? I had that truck on parking brake. And it just fucked me. That wasn't jank or anything. Build trailer, loader, log. Okay, so this one only has a few attachments. Nice. Or full attachments. I'm just gonna leave those logs where they're at. And reverse this thing all the way back down to the place where I started. Well, I'm gonna be in a utility trailer for you. I actually didn't lose, I didn't take much damage when I rolled the truck, believe it or not. It just yeah. goes to show you how, how slowly the roll happened. Like, I just kind of went over the edge of the road, probably because of the lack of sleep, if I had to guess. You know, just been working the, the hours away, it's like, been up for like three days at this point. It, just not been able to sleep, working my guts out here, trying to get these logs, because everybody needs these logs, damn it. Gotta work all the hours. And, uh, yeah, we may have just kind of dozed off, went off the side of the road, and just laid her over. And, of course, all the logs just rolled everywhere. But, again, that's all hypothetical. That may or may not have actually occurred. Well, you know, slight probabilities. Hi, how you doing? You just kind of ex ex Hi. exploded into existence. Not gonna lie. Am I gonna be in your way? Possibly. 
No. I don't see you at all, actually. <laughs> like, that makes sense. Good, because uh, I'm just going to park this here then. And uh, I'm going to change trucks back to my other truck, or my skid steer. Skid steer. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> that kind of kitchen existence. <laughs> Funny how that works. That won't make you poof. <laughs> okay, I need to make some audio Magic. changes. Immersion Can I not broken. change audio? <laughs> uh, where's I, my I next logs? Audio. Those are long logs. Okay, we do have some short logs right over here. So, uh, yeah. Gonna go grab those short logs that just popped back up into existence over here, which are nice. Because uh, I totally didn't just drop all the other logs over the side of the hill over there. Also, I am not driving in reverse, I'm driving straight forward. So uh, it helps if I steer the right way. I'm gonna need some fuel in this thing. Do that well already. Yeah, this thing only has 20 or 90 liters left, so definitely gonna need some fuel. All right, I'll get on that. I had the fuel tank, but it kind of damaged my own truck, so I had to do an SOS for myself. <laughs> Happen to uh, change what I'm doing here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in the middle of nowhere and run out of fuel. And I've only got one truck that I can use, and it's got logs on it. It's all right though. Worst case scenario, I drop off the logs, get a uh, fuel trailer or a fuel cistern, put on it, and come back over and fill it up. Straight up, the Western Star can't do a fuel cistern. Yeah, it can. It can do the regular uh, no. thing. You just have to make sure you don't have a trailer hitch attached. I tried the before, it didn't show me. There's the long logs. Long logs are worth six points, by the way. Yeah. I like, if you go, well, you won't be able to see it, but if you go where I rolled my truck, there's just a trailer left there because I didn't need it anyway, so I just cut it loose. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's fine. What could go wrong? I'll just leave it here. Oh, my fuel gauge is now red. I imagine that's a bad thing. I'm on my way with the fuel trailer. I gotta go grab it from the uh, shop. So can you still use the fuel trailer even if you don't have the truck attached to it? I don't know. I don't think so. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can like disconnect the trailer and then you can just drive up to it. It'll have a box around it or something. I, I do not know. Because hmm. it lists it as like, an item, like a vehicle. Right. Man, I'm really good in this skidder at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Almost you see that like thing I've had some practice. Something. I'm just waiting for you to flip it out of it. It's just gonna happen. Oh, if you flip this thing. thing, you're an idiot. <laughs> you would have to do something really dumb to flip a skidder. As bottom heavy as they are? Um, uh, I see a, I have a photo of a, of a load truck that uses the same system. But it's like a six, a six wheel vehicle. Mm -hmm. That it was flipped on its side, and the the uh, actual container for it was uh, broken off of it, or like split. Damn. So you see how that how it turns to the center point? That mm -hmm. part of it was turned and split. Damn, that's not good. Uh, pull trailer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough that to the fuel seat. to make it back over to the road. Hopefully, it would. At least if you make it to the road, I'm making a fuel trailer. I'm down and to 30, 30 liters. 30 liter of farva. I don't want a liter of farva. I've got a liter of cola. RC cola? Liter of cola? Do we have liter of cola? Just get a large farva. Perfect. 
Yeah, I see your skitter. Kind of. Just a shadow of a truck. Not just any truck, though. <laughs> it's like the shadow of a truck that I may have drawn when I was in, like, kindergarten. <laughs> I think it looks like the uh, military truck. Like the dudes from the, under the, uh, the, the Russian military truck. You see that kid in uh, War Thunder? I made it to the road with my logs. I'm trying to hurry back. Uh oh, I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> just, just park it, I'll be, I'm on my way back. Rusty Mason's wife, so I was bringing fuel. I have four liters. I'll sacrifice the truck if I have to. <laughs> I'm not using the off-road truck. I'm out of fuel. <laughs> when you see how close I am to being able to drop my logs off, you're going to laugh. Possibly. I should have used the Western Star as the uh, fuel in the repair truck and used the normal truck as the, uh, the log driller. Yeah. Too bad I can't steal some fuel from the uh, truck that's right here. <clears throat> Just siphon it out. You're at the fuel station right now. Nice. Yeah. And I got the big boy trailer. I would see your log truck parked up here, and then your trailer. <laughs> How far away from it were you? Oh, I'm right where that, I was right where that trailer. <laughs> Get a little uh, trailer happy and had it, that slide off. <laughs> you see me winching it <laughs> just try trying everything I can me there we go hey I have the old sweet you're you're an, an amazing person lifesaver that sort of thing Actually, I'm going to repair my damage while I'm here. Oh, I'll pick up some logs and come back. Parking brakes on. Go ahead and drop these there. Pull this out of the way. I'm not blocking anybody, even though that's not a thing. It's the thought of it. it counts. <laughs> that's the one reason I pull my trucks off to the side. See, they want to block you. So I got two long logs deep in the swamp. Two mediums on the right. Let's go get the mediums. Turn the anchors. Crane. Okay, there's the logs. There's three tall ones. More mediums. I think I feel like mediums are probably the best bet because you can get three logs from them. Sorry, trying to concentrate on seeing if I can snatch all of these at once. There's got to be a way. I got them earlier, so I know it's possible. Maybe. I was wondering, like, if one of them to... rolled. Damn it. Oh, well. Three like, of them it is. Crane it from both vehicles. If that makes sense. Like, use the crane on the vehicle to hold them, and then crane, use the crane on the truck to pull it out of the 
Get steer. Sounds stupid enough almost to make sense. How do I... Oh. Okay, that's three down. I always go the wrong way first. <laughs> like, just always. Alright, there we go. Got the last log. Rotate the other direction. Bring it in. Bring it close. Rotate. Drop down. Damn you. It's always the last log that screws me on, like, not wanting to fucking go <laughs> where it's supposed to. Like, you have to get all of them with I'm gonna try something lights. stupid. Yeah. I'm gonna try to bring all my logs in at once by leaving them in the skid steer and then grabbing them out of the skid steer's claw. <laughs> Got it. Alright. Put that back. Pack the trailer. Hey, we did it again, guys! <laughs> What could go wrong? See how long this lasts. <laughs> <sighs> Off to the races. Only this time we're not going to roll it over the I side like how, of the uh, cliff. We may or may not have both had accidents at the same time for different things. Yeah, like it's... Both of them involving us losing trailers. <laughs> I blame the trailer that was not necessary on my truck. It had nothing to do with me driving off the side of the road and flipping it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put this thing on a winch and uh, just take both of my loads at the same time. Because I'm probably going to need the western star to pull this thing through the mud to get to the lumber mill to begin with. And there's the yeah. scene of the accident that never happened. Change truck Wonder. to this one. Winch connected. All right. Okay, so I, I got a great big closer. convoy rocking through the night. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do have a convoy. Got two trucks chained together, both hauling logs. I won't have as many logs, but I'll be playing support. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> oh, you still need to bring some logs. <laughs> we gotta get 16 logs there. Beans. I've got 8 on board. so I'll take care of one of the dumps. That leaves us with 16 more that we gotta get. across the bridge we got to make that stupid left hand turn that's a giant pain in everybody's backside this is working surprise shut up you gotta say something i looked back at what i was pulling rather than just like paying attention to where i was going i think we'll just pay attention to what we're doing Tell you what though, having two trucks going and then just using a winch to connect them, using the one truck that's all wheel drive, or not all wheel, but has the ability for all of the wheels to lock, is the way to go. Because you save yourself so much time transporting, because you can transport two loads in one, one trip. Alright, now the moment of truth. Will this bridge hold up with this much weight on it? 
collapses, drops so the, me into the river. Well, the locks, once the logs are green, they stay in the truck, right? Yeah, once you pack them, they stay in the truck. Unless, of course, you roll them. Okay. If you roll, they fall well, out. Yeah, you roll them out. <laughs> Not that I would know, of course, okay. like that. that no, no, no. You know. Oh, God, here it comes. Oh, I missed the turn. All right, I forgot. We got to go down here. Trying to take these two trucks down here is going to be a giant pain in my backside. And if I screw up anything, they roll over and bad things happen. We're down the truck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that was sketchy. This is gonna get hairy. <laughs> so we better go ahead, put in the lock, and just go in first flow here, the rest of the way. Because the truck behind me doesn't follow the exact trail that I'm going, and if it goes the wrong way here, it will literally end up on its side. They're in the trailer, but they're not uh, loaded. Uh, you go into your winch, like you go up to advanced and then attach winch and use left or right on the D-pad to select the green things and then hit pack. Oh no, they're not like in the packing range. Oh. Yeah, you got to get it to where all of the nodes that are on the logs are green. Yeah, that's the current plan. Good luck. So far, so good. I've managed to get most of the way there. The soupy section with the weird hill is coming up. And uh, that's if I can get through that, we're there. I just got to do that without losing the truck that's behind me. Or the truck that I am in. I about rolled my truck there earlier when I was playing solo. Very easy to do because it doesn't look like it's a big hill, but it is. Easy, 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 easy! Woo! 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 The fucking truck! I and knew you were gonna do that! A lot more annoying to maneuver. I knew that truck was gonna do that shit to me. Wow, I cannot believe that I didn't just roll that truck. Um, I'm I'm in trouble. Oh my god. Um. 
Laser. Come get me, little rescue vehicle. There's no way that this is going to have enough backside to do it. I'm on my way with uh, oh, seven points. I just killed the laser. Son of a bitch. Uh, where's oh the God. F-150 at? <laughs> I don't know. It probably hasn't moved. Oh, it doesn't have much in the way of uh, health. Or not health, but fuel. Luckily, I'm next to the fuel station. You can all oh, my God. This thing actually seems like it would be Falls okay. Off-road. Off-road. <laughs> But this does an off-road truck. Like as soon as I kicked in all wheel or the four wheels on this, like it just took off. It's nice. A lot better than the Blazer was. Oh, it's got a it's got a crappy horn though. Some negative points. <laughs> Are you gonna try to recover your log trailer? I, I haven't lost it yet. That's why I didn't want to move any further. I gotta get Are you, like, some fuel in the way of the road. Huh? I'm on my way over there. Yeah. Um. Just in case, I know you probably can't touch it, but just in case, try not to run into it. <laughs> if you you're breathe not, on it the wrong way, it'll probably it. fall over. As long as you're not in it. Hi. How are you? Oh, hello. I like how you just about ran my ass over. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at the fuel thing to make sure it, it popped up, and then I started moving as you pulled in. River Spartan, honk. <laughs> or, contrary, big truck driver probably needs to pay attention to the road. <laughs> Aren't you one to talk? <laughs> no, I was I was paying attention. It was a thing. That's why I didn't lose it because <laughs> it dr it pulled that truck right over that freaking side that I was worried about. I'm gonna pass on your right, by the way, so don't squeeze me. There you go. Burnt. Thank you. It's not something you shouldn't do. Park a big truck that's loaded on a hill. Oh, you don't even want to know the half of it. <laughs> Definitely don't want to see what happened. Oh, this thing's got damage, I mean, you're too. Gonna beat me there I didn't anyway. even notice. You're going to beat me there anyway. Oh, yeah, I know I'm going to beat you there. I'm afraid that the longer it sits there, the more likely it is to sink into the mud and fall over. You wouldn't be able to see him so anyway. You There'll be shadows unless I'm in the actual truck. Yeah, no. So I need to get a, a big log trailer now? Let's see. Two long logs. Yeah, I need to get a big log trailer. Ugh. I will say this, this thing doesn't like have very good fuel economy. Compared to the other, well, I don't know about your Hummer, but definitely the Blazer has the fuel, the edge in fuel economy. When you said you were at, at half, I wasn't exactly at half. Okay, so yeah, seems like uh, maybe maybe this has the same as them, but this just feels like the tank's we're, going down really quickly. All right, you're on. also flooring it on the highway. Going off the road here. I don't even know if I'm going to have room to get around this stuff, let alone whether or not this thing's going to have enough backside to actually do anything to keep me from pulling or flipping that truck over. So where do I need to go the lock station? I say as I almost flip this truck over. <laughs> you know on the map, it actually tilts your arrow when you're flipping. <laughs> nice. I literally about flipped this. Uh, okay, so take the second exit to the dirt road. And it's less dirt. 
It's the last dirt road on the left before you get to the garage. You know, in my town, there's actually a street called First Dirt Road, Second Dirt Road. <laughs> Is there one called The Last Dirt Road? Mm, don't think so. I think it's just the numbers. Oh. Third Dirt Road on the left. Put her in diff lock. And some soupy stuff. think they would have a better road to the lumber mill. Oh, that would be the cave road. They're still there. <laughs> They're still there. I don't know how. I'm literally melting the concrete <laughs> or the asphalt. The sheer amount of little trees that are in the frickin' way is obnoxious. Because I'm trying to go around. It's the that I could potentially so it bends left and then bends right and then bends left and dirt road are you still stuck? 100% It took me the time to drive over here for you to even get remotely unstuck. Oh, I'm not even remotely unstuck yet. Uh, five make the wrong move. So I have seven logs coming in. All right, diff lock going on. Okay. Whew. All right. I think the danger of me potentially flipping this thing is over at the moment. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. All right. Let me, uh... I don't know. You didn't get out before I get over there? What the fuck are you <laughs> Oh, sensor. <laughs> Here. What did you even do? Like I said, it doesn't look like there's much of a hill here, but it is a hill. I'm just going to get this load to the thing before I accidentally screw up with this. and Because uh, it's, it's we're literally right at the lumber mill. Yeah, we only need six more after this. I got so nine damage loads. by running over a twig. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you popped the tire. Right, in an automatic mode because you Do it to manually unload all these? You don't manually unload it. You just drive into the thing and then uh, you'll see the little unload truck thing pop up. You just click unload. Alright, so we're just going to... Oops. Would you stop that advanced... Stop engine. Jump into the freight liner. And park brake off. Reverse. Remember, when I, when this happened, I was literally pulling this blue truck with that other truck. So the computer didn't right. like follow where I was. It just drove straight. 
and then literally about dump the load right next to the freaking lumber mill. I knew it was there, I knew it was a uh, risk, and I about screwed myself. But that being said, I have officially brought my second load. Hey Spartan, what do we? <laughs> Let's see, can I get out of this? Oh, this first one's already been delivered to. Yeah. Alright, then I'll deliver them to the other side. I, uh, I've made poor decisions. <laughs> you look like you've made... You remember what I said about the sand? <laughs> I, I didn't say this sand. And you remember what I said about how hard it is to get the, uh, the Western Star, like, stuck? I got stuck on a tree. That's what caught me. I was okay until I hit the tree. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me get out of your way. I'm literally gonna get this thing stuck just to get it out of everybody's way. Stop engine. Switch truck. I think my trailer's caught. <laughs> I think you checked on my trailer as you pulled me out. There you go. Oh, that's a fuel tank. Don't want to hit that. <laughs> I've seen how that ends in video games. I should just dump. How many more do we need? We need one Five. more load hmm. of short logs or just one load of any logs, actually. We need five more, so we need to tally one more load each. I'm just gonna leave my trailer, I don't need it. Wait, how do we only need five lo or how do we need five more? Short logs get There's, you uh, four total. points. Um when I had unloaded my truck, they took all my logs into one. They wouldn't let me load them separately. Although we need to stop and get long logs. So when we get out of here, we'll have to go up to the, to uh, by the way, I, I know you're in your Western star. Make sure your diff is locked going up this, this way. You will be stuck otherwise. I know. I was always, I was starting to slip at that corner you slipped on. There's like a bunch of little rocks and stuff that's up this way that'll catch you. It's annoying. And the water that's running down the hill because it's like a creek that comes in up here. Oh my god, you caught a creek too? Yeah, I'm from Ohio. It's a creek. <laughs> my brother-in-law is from Ohio, and we all give him shit for calling it creek. <laughs> There's a difference between a creek and a creek. Creeks are bigger than cricks. Wait. He calls them a crick oh, for both. Oh, well then. He's weird. <laughs> but yeah, there's a difference between a crick and a creek. Creek is a bigger version so of a crick, more, but smaller than a river. So a crick's more like a stream, whereas a creek is a smaller river. Basically. Cricks are basically like any sort of spring that you get or anything like that. It's just any sort of small running water usually dry up during the summertime that sort of thing whereas oh, okay. creeks that's, that's creeks always have water in them they're just like a small river okay that's fair i think my i think if i was mistaken my stepbrother or my brother-in-law calls it uh, a creek for most of the time oh 
Ohio, it's a thing. All right, so we're going to be getting some long logs this time. I'm going to go up here, switch trailers, and then we'll go from there. I love my Western Star. This thing is a beast. Can this thing fit long logs? Yeah. You got to you gotta switch everything out. So, uh... Do, do, do. Swing it in wide. Uninstall. We want a loader. We want... Log cart hitch and long log cart. Make sure you get a loader. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, you that. get to spend 40 minutes trying to figure out how to finagle long logs into these these things with a skid skidder. So, uh, I hate backing trailers. It's going to jack my pit. <laughs> if it works right. You know, sometimes it's just worth it. I'm waiting for you. Technically, only one of us needs to get long logs. Eh, I want to have the fun of playing around with it. Because we need six point or we need five points, you said? And yeah. long logs is six points. I don't know about you, but I've drove uh, about seven kilometers now. And this thing, I've only driven five. But this is the one I, I took from the uh, that I was sitting around. It's not the one I was using for driving. Right. With the, the, uh, the fuel. So we have to turn around, don't we? No, we, we're good. Oh, you mean, yeah. Yeah, technically. It's fine, we can go... We got the, the truck to do it. Like, we can get into the mud and turn around once we're there. I don't see your lights, it's so scary. Yeah, I'm, I'm hanging back a little bit from you. Mainly because I don't want to run into the back of you. Uh, you're kind of off the road there, bud. <laughs> no comments. Like I said, when driving on the highway with these, it's just easier to be in first person. <laughs> you're not as finagly, you know what I mean? Yeah. I look like I'm drunk when I'm in third person. But it, it seems like when you're in first person, you your guy makes less movements. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Good God! <laughs> I don't have the lower drive on, I have it off. I literally about just slammed right into the back of you at like 50 miles an hour. <laughs> I don't think that would hurt me, I think it would hurt you more. Oh, it would have definitely done some damage to one of us. <laughs> if not both of us. Ever a repair truck anyway. Yeah, but we don't want to do that if we don't have to. Oh, we actually can't fit in this. <laughs> you mean you don't, you don't realize that you don't have the clearance to go under there? That's how you end up in a YouTube video, bud. <laughs> oh. Also, you should probably pay attention when a giant truck is next to you. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you didn't have the clearance to get out, or to go under. You crashed into it, probably <laughs> took out the whole gas station in the process. <laughs> it just smashed your crane right into the, the uh, gas station. Don't worry. We get truck drivers like you was... all the time at work. <laughs> I'm a Swift driver, don't judge me. 
Where I come from, we don't have to worry about clearance. Pretty much, there's very few, few places that have clearance issues, other than freeways. I've seen so many trucks get wedged under bridges and run into things that they shouldn't be because they're not paying attention to their clearance. I've had trailers come in completely can opener. Which is pretty impressive when you think about it. Just still had the trailer. The fact that he, he made it in with a trailer that was can opener and didn't get like stopped. I did a backing up properly. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Somebody stop I'm me. I'm gonna head and repair some damage. How'd you get damage? <laughs> oh, crashing into um, the uh... rocks and trees. <laughs> oh, lots of trees. No, rocks and trees actually. Yeah. Gotcha. Like 20 damage, 20 damage, 13, 20, 13, 20. All right, put the parking brake on, advance. Let's go ahead and turn the anchors for the crane and stop the engine. Get in the old skid steer. Somebody's going to get triggered because I'm calling it a skid steer. That ain't a skid steer, it's a skidder. There's a difference. <laughs> I get it. It's fine. All right, we need to get long logs. We need to turn left first. Getting close. Short logs, two long logs. Yeah, I gave up at the end of that. <laughs> if there's a house that's in the middle of a swamp. Must be my house. I live in the swamp. Not quite this bad of swamp, what? though we do have swamps like this on our property. What are you doing in the swamp? This is our swamp. <laughs> no, this is my swamp. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I finally figured out how to attach my truck. <laughs> my trailer. Nice. Yeah, like I said, you, you literally uh, use the winch to winch. There's an the, acre point for it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I had my trailer, I had it under my truck. I just couldn't figure out how to get it physically attached. All right, I'm at my long logs now. Just a matter of time. Parking brake, crane, rotate, go down, grab, pull up, rotate, smash it into the side of the cockpit because that's what you do. And then take them back to the truck. Turn the parking brake off because the game always does that to me. Hey, it's daytime again. Now we're on like four or five days now that we have not slept. We are not stuck right now. That's what I 
spot. Which is weird. Oh god, the the like light in the mist blinding. <laughs> Can't see anything at all. done guys for those of you who have stuck around this long good god <laughs> I apologize for taking so long but you know sometimes things don't go to plan are invisible because I'm fairly confident I'd just be bun punching them in the mouth with a giant log. Uh, you would be. <laughs> Alright, parking brake on. Crane. Rotate. And drop. Parking brake off. Brake on, engine off, change truck to my Western Star. Go ahead, start the engine. Get the crane a rolling. Not first time. Uh, yeah, you're right. Not first time. Because, uh, I'm going to have to set it down. Oh, God. We had him. We had him in the air. <laughs> it's totally not uh. not the wrong way to do it, folks. It would help if I could actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, we need to we need to have a reset here. That's better. Ish. <laughs> Did you see your crane moving around with the logs? <laughs> yeah, they're they're slightly touchy. I'm not gonna lie. Damn it. I was having problems with the medium logs. You son of a bitch.
Oh, I gotta position my truck properly. Okay, crane. <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't have to be like straight or something like that. Like Turn perfectly the straight. Yeah. I'll get out of your way so you can do your thing. Got it. Want me to wait for you to pack yours? Yeah, I might as well. Stop the engines. We're not burning unnecessary fuel. And then we'll jump in the skitters so we can have a good look. Oh, now you want to go up more. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was trying to get it over, it just would not go up. Alright, looks like. Other than kind of the logs going through your crane. Going right on top of me, actually. There you go. Okay, raise crane, pull it up. Don't forget to pick up your anchors. Oh. Then you'll have to pull forward a little ways to straighten everything up. And then you should be able to pack it. Oop. If you just hold A, you'll put your crane back automatically. Is it? There we go. Sweet! Alright. <laughs> Let's get this convoy started. Feels like we got some weight, that's for sure. Oh yeah. It's been fun taking these off-road. I'm in gear five, and it's barely crawling. <laughs> in real life this thing would be like an 18 speed or something yeah your poor little trailer that got forgotten I have I got speed racer I got another achievement What's that? that's bad when you get a speed racer achievement and a freaking loaded semi with long logs on <laughs> couldn't get it in the harbor couldn't get it in the f-150 but by by golly 
The loaded log trailer got a it. A loaded log truck going downhill. Probably something to do with having a full-size load. Whoops. My bad. Yeah, that mud pit slows you down in a hurry. I switched to a, a differential lock immediately. I, I just got the all wheels on. I'll leave it on all wheels all the time. <laughs> you don't really need diff lock in this thing. How are you doing on fuel? Oh, I'm doing fine on fuel. And yeah, we definitely have a load on, that's for sure. <laughs> I, yeah, chugging up that hill. That hill was not having it. Like, this truck was like, ah, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> I'm too fat for this. Maybe that was me when I, when I decide to run. We got just, I'm too fat for this. Stop. Don't go off the road, just keep it nice and smooth. Don't look back to see if he's here, because you know he is. Now imagine if you had to see on the right side of the road. Yeah, I was going to say, there's absolutely no way. That's what I was saying on my uh, first time I was trying to record this by myself. It was, dude, I'm glad there's no traffic, because I can't see half the time. When you, when you go up like a hill, you can't see anything. You're just hoping to God nothing's on the other side of the corner. <laughs> it's just like, well, yeah. stick in the center of the highway and see what happens. As soon as we hit that bridge turn. What is it? As soon as we hit that bridge turn, I'm probably going to get to you again. Oh, yeah? I've been in first person, so I can drive pretty pretty well in first person in this. But I just got to remember, we got to make this stupid left-hand turn right here. And now, try not to immediately flip the truck. Are you going off-road? Yeah, we have to. Got to deliver them to the place. Up. Huh? You can go up, up higher. Oh, yeah, you can go to the next one. I went to the wrong one. It's fine. Either way, you meet at the same place, pretty much. Yeah. So the team was going 40 kilometers an hour with the fully loaded truck. Yeah. Also, okay, so you have to be in the truck to get there. That makes more sense. I say, I feel like I was going faster in any of the smaller vehicles. Well, I was going faster with the, with the smaller load. But because we're in the big truck now, it's just like, ah, that's pretty impressive. And I didn't immediately die. <laughs> These guys are pros. I feel like after this first episode in uh, American Truck Simulator, oh. We are uh, gonna gonna be pretty good at this game. Oh God, this is a nasty corner. Hey, and there's my Ford truck. The, I, I know I did the same mistake I did the first time I went through here. Where are you located? Oh, you're coming down the other road. I'm coming. Yeah, I did the same mistake I did the first time where I hit the tree and when you enter that because I missed the root. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to learn from your mistakes. Good news is, I win. <laughs> Hi, Swive. <laughs> hey. Three loads to one. I win. This season of I mean, fair, this swamp truckers. <laughs> Spartan Elite comes out on top. 
How many, how many points did you actually bring in, though? <laughs> uh, I don't know. How many points you got? With this, would make it 13, I think. So I brought in a medium load, a small load, and then a large load. Yeah, but you won't be able to deliver your, your large load. Because as soon as I deliver this, then uh, it's GG. As far as I know. Oh, be careful with this corner, bud. You can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to like pull missing. past the corner so that my trailer doesn't go off the edge too much, even though it already did. There we go. We're golden. I say we're golden. I put it in one high and it stops even going downhill. <laughs> it's just like, nope. Nope, we're in the mud. You can't can't have one high now. Oh yeah, you made it just fine. GG, man. That was a fun one. A long one, but a fun one. Uh, a lot of it came to us just screwing up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but if everything went to Me plan... Me bringing the field truck to the wrong spot. My trailer's just sitting there. Nailed it. <laughs> Completed with game balance hardcore. There you go, five stars, baby. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do, let me know. Leave a comment below. Punch the like button for us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Wow. That's going to be a long video. <laughs>